Mm. So I was thinking maybe today we could. Wow. I think I'm okay. Wow. My God. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun one today, guys. DaVinci Resolve 18, how to make stuff explode tutorial. And yes, it also works in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Now, this video is actually not so much about making stuff explode per se. I mean, I'm gonna show you how I did it and it's relatively easy actually. So no difficult special effects in fusion or anything like that. I think even if you're a complete beginner, you could probably pull this off. But anyway, so the thing is, the techniques that I used to create that explosion, you can use them for other things. Just use your imagination and you'll be able to create all kinds of simple special effects. I took a massive explosion and I downsized it to make it look funny and surreal, but of course you could make something bigger explode and make it look more realistic. Or you could do something completely different, it doesn't have to be an explosion. But let me just show you, then then you'll, you'll, you'll get it. So the first thing I did was record my intro, the intro that you just saw. And of course I had to make it look like I got blown away by the blast. And yes, I did hurt myself, I recorded that yesterday, 10, 20 times, crashing into the floor every time. Oh, I'm getting old, but it's fine. I'll live. Uh, what I also did is record 10 seconds of nothing. So what they call a clean plate, I think. It's the background without a subject. And that's what we're going to use to make the glass disappear after the explosion. So the intro and the clean plate which is basically just the background. And make sure that the focus in both shots is the same. So for the clean plate, don't focus on the background. Focus on the same spot where you focused the other shot. So in my case, the focus was here in both shots. Okay, and then what else do we need? An explosion. And it's actually a super simple special effect. The explosion is just a video clip of an explosion with a transparent background. That's it. On Google, just type in explosion overlay video or explosion video with alpha channel. Because that's what makes the background transparent, the alpha channel. And you can find free videos, there's a bunch, or paid videos. I found my explosion on Envato Market. For 10, 15 bucks, you can find a bunch of cool explosions with alpha channel. Here on the left side, you can filter on videos with alpha channel. And then, as you can see here, all you need to do is drop that video on top of another video, and there's your explosion. And ideally, of course, the lighting of the explosion is similar to the lighting in your video. Okay, and now let's go over all the steps in DaVinci Resolve 18. First, super simple, this is my intro and at some point I get blown away by the blast. That's where I'll drop the explosion, so on top of my intro clip. And then it's just a matter of getting the timing right. And of course, to sell the effect, you also have to add a sound effect. I usually get my sound effects from Epidemic Sound, the link is in the description, but of course there are plenty of websites where you can find cool sound effects. Again, paid and free. So just add the sound effect, there. And what I also did to make the effect look more violent, the part where I get blown away, that part of the clip, I added a speed ramp. So I doubled the speed there, so that it looks yeah, more violent. What you need to do is set the playhead where the explosion happens, right click on the clip and then select Retime Controls. Open this drop down menu here, the little triangle, and select Add Speed Point. And now I can change the speed of this part here, so the part where I get blown away, to 200%. There. And my sound and video are not linked, so I only change the speed of the video, not the sound. The sound is normal speed, 100%. Okay, and then next we have to make the glass disappear. There's a lot of smoke, but you might still see the glass through the smoke if we don't make it disappear. So remember the clean plate? Drop it on top of the intro, but under the explosion. And I'm gonna make these tracks with the explosion invisible for now. It'll make it easier to show you wh what's gonna happen. So what we have now is my intro. And then here on top of the intro is the clean plate. 
It starts where the explosion is, but of course you can't just let the clean plate start here just like that because then not only the glass will disappear, but also I will disappear all of a sudden. See? So that doesn't work. Now how do we fix that? Set the playhead at the beginning of the clean plate here, select it and then go to the color tab. Then right click here in the empty area and add alpha output. And that's what you need to make parts of the clean plate clip invisible, transparent, so that we can see the intro clip underneath. Connect the blue dots here, then go to the window tab. And now we're gonna create a power window, a linear one. So select the linear power window and boom. See how we can see both clips now, but it's reversed. So I wanna see the bottom clip in the power window. And it's very easy to reverse that. Just click this icon right here. And now just shape the window so that, you know, in my case, I have to be visible, but the glass has to be invisible. So on the left, we see the intro clip now that's at the bottom. And on the right, we see the clean plate, which is on top of the intro clip. And when we play it now, the glass disappears. And this is with the explosion. So the glass disappears when the explosion happens. And then finally, to sell the effect even more, I added a white flash, super simple, and also some camera shake, also super simple. And all these details, of course, make it look more realistic. The white flash, the camera shake, the sound effect, the speed ramp also. The white flash is super easy, just add a solid color here in the effects window, generators, and then solid color. Make it white, of course, and then just right click on the edges of the clip and add a cross dissolve to make it look smoother. And then the camera shake is also super simple, like I said. First add an adjustment clip. And put it as the top track. Decide where you want the camera shake to start. So in my case right here where the explosion is. Go to the filters in the effects library. So here, open effects, filters, and then look for camera shake all the way at the bottom. And then drop the camera shake on the adjustment clip and boom, you have camera shake. And here in the inspector window, of course, you can tweak how you want it to shake. Fast, slow, a lot, not so much. And that's basically it. Oh, right, and in my intro, you can also see little pieces of glass like scattered around after the explosion. It's the same technique as the explosion itself. It's a video clip of glass flying around with an alpha channel, and I just dropped it on top of my intro clip. So exactly the same. Not so difficult, right? I mean, you have to put in the work and it'll probably take you an hour, two, maybe three. But seriously, I think anyone could do this. And like I said, if you use your imagination, you can use these techniques to create all kinds of simple special effects. I really hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.